Hello. I'm, uh, hope everybody's, uh, doing, having a good day. I'm making bags. The, these, um, I'm making these rugs, uh, about 19 inches on the loom. So I'm hoping they'll shrink up about, to be about 17. I'm um, calling them hippie bags. And, um, uh, they're 20, uh, the rug is 28 inches wide. And I'm making them, like I say, uh, 19 inches long on the loom. The one side is hem. The other side has fringe. But I'm going to make this one both sides hemmed. And then after I get the first done, I'm going to add fringe. Uh, I want to see how that goes. I'm playing around with this one here. And right now it's 11 and a half inches long on the loom. No, 10 and a half inches long on the loom. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And then I'm, I think I'll go ahead and make a rug. And then I'll take, I got, after I get this one done, I ha I'll have four 17 inch rugs. And uh, three of them have a hemmed in, in and a um, fringe hem. This one here will have two hemmed ends. And, uh, I want to see how, I'm just playing, I'm, I want to sell them, but, uh, I want to see, just to see what I like, you know, make them a little different, and a little variety. Um, I'll do a few shots on the loom so you can see. This is, I'm working on my Weaver's Delight loom. I bought new warp from, the. Uh, Great Northern Weaving. I warped this loom 40 turns on the back beam, which is 40 yards. There, it's fall colors. It's got red, black, burn orange, and like a copper brown on this this loom here. I just warped it what a week ago or so. I'm kind of anxious to see what they look like because this is going to be like a fall Halloween color bags. And then I'm going to make um, some uh, rugs uh, with this too. But I made one uh, hippie bag and it turned out really nice. It wasn't this warp though. It was the older warp. From, it was the warp that was on it before. That uh, bag I made was the end of the warp. That's why it was so short, and I thought, I mm, wonder what I can do with that, because I didn't have enough warp to make a decent rug. And uh, I started playing around with it and made a bag. Turned out really, really cute. And uh, for the button, my husband said a um, long time ago, you know, they used hickory make buttons because hickory is a hardwood so we found a tree that was down and uh, he cut alpha branch he bought uh, he uh, cut um, oh maybe about 20 uh, they're about that round uh, I, I meant to measure them maybe two inches diameter round uh, and then uh, I painted them just with acrylic paint from Walmart and uh, then I drilled two holes in it to tack you know to stitch it on my purse or my bag and it turned out really nice uh, I was really pleased with that bag. and I got more buttons and I'm going to use those on these um, good many of them and they really look nice I like them I think it adds to the purse it's, they're rustic anyway I just sewed for hours this uh, these jeans here I still got a half a basket for it to sew I broke <laughs> about three needles and I finally got out, um, I bought some new, uh, Smith denim needles 
from Amazon. Got them last week. And I usually use denim needles. But I was trying to use up some of these old, you know, older needles that came with the machines. And uh, all they did was break. I think they were size 14, 16 or in the vicinity of that. They weren't any smaller. But they just didn't like my dad. Still with a size 18 needle, I'm still having a little problem with that sewing machine. It's an older Kenmore. Um, it weighs a ton, but uh, it doesn't care for denim either, even with a size 18 needle. Let's see here. It's ten and a half. So right now it's 18 inches on the loom. I'm going to do, I think that's going to be it, and then I'll do, I'll, uh, Go ahead and uh, do my header. So once I do the header, which will be an inch, that will be twenty uh, nineteen yeah nineteen inches long. I'm trying to keep track of how many I'm making and then it's 19 inches that's number four in my header I'm using um, three Three warps on a shuttle, which is uh, I'll show you. Let's see. It's uh, black, brown, and red. And it's making a pretty header, and you know it matches the warp that's already in the loom, so. I'll start the header. I'm trying to make different things other than rugs. I mean, I make the rugs and then I make something out of them. And these bags and purses and mini, mini purses, it's really cute. The mini purses, uh, cell phone fits right in them. The bags, I just love the bags. Um, I put a flap on them. Uh, that's what I've been carrying around with me now. I. Uh, I kept the first one I made, which I usually do. I usually keep the first one. And I'm keeping the hippie bag, the first one. Now, I've already used it a couple times. And they're nice for flea markets. And if you're going somewhere and you're like a, you know, they're having fall festivals now uh, here soon. And apple butter festivals and they're here in the fall. And when you're walking around, you don't uh, want to carry stuff. If you buy small things, you can easily put them in the bags because, you know, they're they're nice size. That way you don't uh, have to worry about them giving you one of those plastic bags that bust and has holes in them. So, um, I think they're great for that kind of thing. You know, when you're going to flea markets and these festivals to carry a nice bag and with you. And they're very... Uh, they're very pretty. I wanted to set up at the Fall Foliage here in uh, Bedford. I think that's in October, but I think I missed out on signing up. You have to sign up. I think, I don't know, I never even seen anything to sign up. And I told my mother-in-law, I said, I like to set up. And she told me I missed the, the opening for that. And then my friend Dawn, and she just told me about uh, at the Apple Butter Festival in Burlington. Apparently, they didn't have it last year. Uh, I, I used to go to that all the time. I never set up or nothing. I just loved going and walk around, eating their apple dumplings and buying some apple butter. And seeing all the crafts. So this hour, I told Dawn, she lives in West Virginia in Kaiser. And 
I said, if you find me a phone number, I said, go give it to me and I'll see if I can't set up that day. Because I have uh, 20 or 35 rugs right now to sell. I have two purses. And by then, I'll have more purses, more rugs, some mini purses to sell. And, and uh, even if I don't sell, <laughs> I'll just enjoy the day because I like it over there. It's very nice. I always did like their festival. And the, uh, the Bedford uh, Folk Woolies. Uh, it's a nice festival, too. There's a lot of vendors there. I mean, there it's wall-to-wall -wall vendors. I don't usually buy up there. I Everything's so high. But we do uh, get a food. Uh, like last year, I think we got fries and a drink and forget what else. And uh, when I had my one dog, Shadow, I always buy him a new collar every year. Well... These, uh, these guys, I have five running around, and we have decks. And you know how decks have that little slat in them in between the, the boards. Well, one day I went out, and Greta was laying down, and uh, she wouldn't get up. And I thought, what's wrong with her? Here her dog tag was stuck in the little groove in between the boards. I uh, didn't like that because, you know... If I'm in the chair and I'm thinking everybody's inside, plus they run in and out, they have a doggy door. Uh, she, they could get stuck out there for hours, you know, if you don't go out and check on them. So I, none of my my dogs have collars now. I, I because of that. Oh, poor little Greta, how long have you been there? And she was probably thirsty because I think it was summertime. She wasn't out there forever. It's just she was, she might have been stuck for a couple hours. Because if I get busy in the house, you know, they just do their own thing. Uh, I'm in the house. I don't run in and out of the house to, too much. I do check on them because, you know, there's critters running around out there. And even though they have a fence, you don't know. So that's one reason I, or I would buy them and buy them all a new collar at the festivals because this one, uh, these one people, they sell really pretty homemade. I guess they make them themselves. Their collars. Some I always bought Shadow a Halloween <laughs> new collar every year because um, that's my favorite time of the year. So Shadow always got a new collar. But these guys, I, I won't put collars on them. I'm just afraid they'll get stuck out on the deck. I guess a lot of people, you know, they don't realize that until their doggy does get stuck. And, uh, I'm putting, I'm only putting like a three inch header on these. I, I was putting three and a half inches and I don't think you really need it. I think three inches is good. I just make sure it's, it's just a tiny bit over three. You know, because, you know, the shrinkage, I gotta allow for shrinkage on the loom. I'm hoping they'll, uh, since I'm making them 19, I'm hoping they'll shoot a But if they don't, you know, it would just be a tiny bit longer purse, or bag. Plus, they're nice when you go visit somebody and you, you're, re you know, you like to read and stuff. You can stick your book in them. have got all kind of purposes you can use them for. And it's better than them Walmart bags. I, I throw them away as soon as I get home because uh, they get holes in them. Sometimes you buy something at Walmart, them bags might have a little hole in them. And if you buy something, I think I lost 
an item one time because of they had one I had a hole in and I it probably dropped out right there in the parking lot. So I don't trust them. So these bags are really really nice to carry around and put your stuff in if you're going to visit somebody or staying at even staying overnight. Put your clothes, your toothpaste, and all that good stuff in them. Okay, that's a little over three inches, and I'm ending this. I just wanted to just show you, and then uh, I have posted what the bags do look like when they're done. But these will be a little different because they'll be a different color. They'll have a different header on them. But they are jeans. I'm, I made them, made them out of jeans. And when I start a new, new rug and it's not going to have a fringe, what I do I usually have a, a contrasting color. But I don't have anything laying around here. This is yarn, and I just take a piece of yarn, and I lay it and I cut it cut it like this because I'm going to start another header. This just separate, uh, this way I know where my middle of my header is between the two rugs. So when I cut it, this tells me where. I don't have to sit and measure, you know. So I'll just lay that right in there like that. And that, um, uh, if it was a blue or something, it would show up, but it's right there. And I leave little ends, so I know exactly where it's at. If I have trouble seeing, seeing it. Now we're not like that. I lost it already. I hunted for a, I have a journal. And, uh, I, I put a lot of notes in it. And it was pretty well full, but I wanted to find, uh, I had written, sometimes I'll write stuff for, uh, that I do to my looms too in it. I even put what I have for supper sometimes. I don't know why, I just do. But, um, I was looking for, um, the last time I warped this loom, how many, uh, many rounds I put on it. I know I put it in there. and I hunted for two days for that stinking thing. I've looked everywhere. I looked in here. Well, not good enough, but I looked. I, I thought it would be out in plain sight. And then I looked in the garage because I have stuff out there too. I looked in the living room. I, my house is small. So, uh, you really can't. Well, I do. I lose a lot of stuff, and it's a small house. It's probably, let, it's probably a thousand square feet out. And I don't know how you lose stuff in it, but, buddy, I think somebody comes in my house and hides things from me. But anyway, I was out here, and I was uh, sewing my jean strips. And I had some jeans laying there in a pile, so I thought I'll, I decided to go ahead and... Um, uh, fold them and put them over there on that loom and I'll cut them sometime. And when I picked them up and started folding them, underneath the jeans was my journal. How, how it got there, I'll never know. I guess I had somebody come in here and mess my place up, which happens all the time. They don't usually steal anything when they come. They just like to mess everything up. I'm going to have to wrap some more of this color when I'm out. But I'll go ahead and end this video. I just wanted you to see my pretty colors on this loom and tell you what I'm making today uh, and what I'm making with it because it's uh, 
weave and rug. But they're not going to be rugs when they're done. Well, y'all, it's hot here, but I have my fan. It's not too bad. And I'm going to finish the header on this. And I'm going to start a, another one. I'm anxious to get these pulled off the loom and start working on them. When you make a, a hippie bag, I don't line them. Uh, there's no need to line them. But I do put two blue, two pockets inside to, uh, you know, in case you go somewhere and you buy something small, you know. <coughs> it's not falling in the bottom of your purse. And I put two pockets on the one side. I didn't put pockets on the other side inside. And then I put did put one pocket on the back. Uh, oh, I, I put it on the front. Sorry. I put it on the front. Uh you know, uh, just for your cell phone, it, it makes it handy, or your keys or something. Uh, but uh, it turned out really nice. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. It holds, it's uh, half, half, mine's half Mod Podge and half water, it's equal parts. Um, you're supposed to, uh, uh, Karen in the wood, she uses uh, Elmer's glue, which is, I think Elmer's glue and Mod Podge about basically the same. But you can use either or. I've been using Mod Podge and I, it works. That's what I had on hand, so I just use it. It just, uh, when you cut this apart here in the middle, uh, it, it's not, the warp's not going to move on you. It's not going to you know, uh, for, uh, unthread on you. It just holds it in place until you, you get it sewed. Um, it's really a good idea. Uh, learned that from her this year. And that was a good learn. Uh, you can always learn something. Somebody knows something you don't know and it really helps you out. So, Well, everybody stay safe and stay cool. And um, I'll, uh, I might do a video well, how I put it together, it's, this is, it's not as uh, involved as the hippie purse. The hippie purse, I line them and uh, put four pockets inside, pocket outside, and uh, I, I dress it up a little bit, but it's more involved with the lining and the pockets. They're also, everything's sewed on, nothing's going to come off, and that's, I, I don't, uh, the only thing I glue, um, before I sew the pockets on, I don't, I don't like to use needles, you know, um, pen, penny needles. So what I do, I uh, lay my liner down, and I'll put the, the pocket where I want it, and then I just use a little bit of hot glue just to make it stay instead of using a pen. Uh, because with the dogs, I don't want to drop pens on the floor, or I get tired of sticking myself with them. And then you're going through layers of denim, and the pins, you know, they bend. And so I found out the hot glue at least holds the, I don't go all around the pocket with the glue. I just put it in the center, basically, of the pocket, put it on where I want it, and it just holds it there until I get my sewing machine and uh, sew all around the pocket. And it, it really works really well. And uh, everything, like I said, everything's sewed on my purses and my bags, and uh, I don't, uh, don't, if I do use glue, it's uh, E6000, and that's basically, say I put a pocket on the outside of the purse, um, you know, you can buy these little um, blings at Dollar Tree or whatever, you know, like little, you know, they're only dollar twenty-five, but a little packet of uh, colored uh, little flat stones, and you can put those on your uh, outside of your pocket. You can't sew them on. So I'll, uh, I did that to my one bag I just made. I put a little bling on the outside pocket and I used a clear, like little diamond looking. Uh, the only thing hard about them, I put the glue on the pocket and then trying to, <laughs> them things are so small, uh, I was constantly uh, losing them before I even got them on, on the pocket. But that was about the hard part there. Well, anyway, I'm going to let y'all go, and you have a good day. Bye-bye.